It's crazy to see how popular Apple's AirPods have gotten over the years, especially the AirPods Pro with the more advanced Pro-ish features like active noise cancellation or ANC, as well as transparency mode. Many people forget that Apple still updates the Beats line quite regularly. With the announcement of the AirPods Pro 2nd Gen, which will be reviewed on my channel by the way, I wanted to give some of the spotlight to the Beats Fit Pro as I await the arrival of my AirPods Pro 2nd Gen. This sportier adaptation within the Beats lineup makes for an awesome pair of truly wireless headphones for those individuals who live a more active lifestyle. I myself enjoy weightlifting as well as running and walking while playing some Pokemon Go, so these earbuds fit quite well with my lifestyle. Along with brand staples that we've come to love and appreciate from Beats, such as great acoustics, awesome features, and a very decent battery life, the Beats Fit Pro are a fantastic alternative to the AirPods Pro for a more stylish look as well as a reduced price tag coming in at $50 less than the AirPods Pro at $199. There are other truly wireless earbuds that Apple currently offers, such as the Beats Studio Buds and the regular AirPods. However, today we'll be looking at a quick unboxing as well as a detailed review of these awesome earbuds that were released at the tail end of 2021 that I just never got around to reviewing until now. So buckle up, this is sure to be a good one. Let's go ahead and roll that intro. All right, all right. So first things first, as I mentioned, these Beats Fit Pro retail for $199 and come in your choice of four different and really bouncy colors. You can choose between your standard black or white with a very in-your-face red Beats iconic B logo on each bud, as well as stone purple or sage gray. They come in this palmable black box with an image of the buds themselves on the front, as well as detailing some of the cool features these buds come packed with on the sides and back. So now, we have two pull tabs at the very bottom where your serial number information is located, so remove both tabs, slide off the top portion, and you're first greeted with another lid that you have to pop off to reveal your Beats Fit Pro case. In this case, in our stunning stone purple color. We set that off to the side to reveal some text that reads, to pair, keep earbuds in case with lid open. Don't worry, the setup process is extremely simple thanks to the H1 chip, and we'll go over it in just a second. Underneath that, we notice our USB-C to USB-C cable that's used to charge up the case, and I love that it's USB-C. I was kind of disappointed the iPhone 14 line still comes with the lightning port, so hopefully next year Apple starts to streamline most of their products to be USB-C compatible. Below that, in a little compartment, is all of our literature, including a code to get three free months of Apple Music, a quick start guide, a singular beat sticker, as well as our warranty and product information guide. The cool thing about these buds is that you also get additional ear tips to accommodate different ear shapes and sizes. And being advertised as workout friendly buds, this is definitely a must as you'll want your buds to be secure while working out. And now looking back at our case, open it up to reveal the buds being nestled in magnetically, but to pair them, remember, you'll want to keep them in the case. So press the button that's close to the front of the case and very easily bring your iPhone nearby and hit the pair button on your iPhone and just like that, your Beats Fit Pro are ready for some action. Okay, so a few things before we go over all the features. Removing the ear tips is really simple. I find it easier to make them inside out when you're removing them, so pull on them with a slight amount of force and the tips easily pop off. And to install larger or smaller tips, just line them up carefully and once again, with a slight amount of force, simply push down on them and they should pop in and be secure so that they don't fall out accidentally. Okay, so now going over the design of these bad boys, it's a really versatile and modern looking design. Imagine putting some wingtips on the Beats Studio Buds and you basically arrive at the Beats Fit Pros. They're pretty small buds with no stems, but the wingtips oddly are affixed, so there's no way to remove them. And I mean... Given that you'll probably sweat on these a ton, you'd think Apple would design these to be interchangeable to at least wash them here and there, which reminds me, these do have an IPX4 water resistant rating, which works perfect for situations where you want to go all out and are drenched in sweat. I totally would not recommend ever taking these into the shower or dropping them into a pool or something. And while still on the topic of the wingtips, what you'll want to do for a nice and secure fit is place them in your ear initially and then rotate them ever so slightly so that the wingtip is trapped under the middle part of your ear like so. This will guarantee that your bud should stay put no matter what you're doing, whether that's running a 5k, hitting some sleds, or even playing some no contact sports. 
Regardless, the design is attractive and looks discreet while on the ears, and the design is very comfortable with the wingtips being flimsy and flexible without feeling cheap. This will allow for longer listening sessions without causing too much fatigue. And another signature Beats move is to introduce some nice and bombastic color options, which we don't get with some of Apple's other offerings such as the AirPods Pro, which only come in white. My personal favorite hands down is a super intriguing and bright stone purple. A huge perk to these buds is the palmable and pretty compact case size, although they are slightly larger than the AirPods Pro case. Regardless, you can easily toss this into a purse or bag and they won't take up too much space. The case also isn't on the low end of battery being rated at roughly providing up to 18 hours of juice while the buds themselves hold an additional 6 hours of charge which is better than the 4-5 to five hours the AirPods Pro provide. This essentially combined gives you upwards of 24 hours of use on a full charge depending on how long you use the buds. This translates to about a full week of charge so you can get all your weekly workouts in without having to worry about connecting these to charge all that often. I find myself charging these up once a week so battery life here is very nice. You can squeeze out an additional hour of battery on the buds by having ANC or transparency mode turned off. Alright while on that topic I adore ANC and transparency mode on Apple earbuds as well as Beats. When dishing out $200 for earbuds, you'd expect to have these nifty features that greatly improve their versatility while doing everyday tasks. So what kind of features come bundled in with these buds? Let's start with the one I think is most useful active noise cancellation. You ever been in a scenario where you just want to be unbothered and are in your own world? Well no worries, activate ANC to drown out the surrounding noise around you and I gotta say, thanks to the ear tip fit test, you'll be able to see which ear tips are the best so that the ANC feature works at its highest. I can't deny, Apple's ANC technology is really impressive. You can immediately tell the difference once this is activated, especially in instances where there's a ton of background noise such as a noisy supermarket, while on a plane, or even in a heavy construction zone. Drowning out the background noise such as at a gym will allow your music or podcast, really whatever you're listening to, to be way more pronounced so that you can hear every snap of a snare and every punchy bass line as it was intended. Transparency mode is just as good. Transparency mode is kind of the opposite of ANC. Like for example, while at the supermarket and about to pay, it would be nice to be able to hear your cashier, right? Well, flipping on transparency mode will open up the mics to let in lots of clear and distinctive sounds from your surroundings come in into your earbuds. Think about it like small microphones that allow you to hear your surroundings much better, and it's easy to toggle both these modes on and off. Simply drag down your control center, find the volume slider of your Beats Pro, and long press on it. You'll now see new menu options prompting you to choose between ANC, transparency mode, or you can simply turn both off. You'll also notice to the right is an option for spatial audio, which is a feature I'm iffy about. Spatial audio allows certain content to sound like it's coming from all angles and directions, similar to how sounds naturally arise such as at a concert or venue. I feel this mode drowns out the volume a bit and makes for the sound to be a bit more muddled, so I hope Apple can improve on this feature in future iterations of Beats and AirPods. So what other features are present? There's a lot. We have Adaptive EQ, the ANC and Transparency mode previously mentioned, Audio sharing for listening to the same song using two pairs of different Beats or AirPods, Control customization, the Ear Tip Fit Test, EQ selection, Hey Siri voice activation, control buttons that are on the buds themselves so that you can pause or play music, or you can long press for other commands like summoning Siri, and it all feels very tactile, so that commands are executed as intended, and finally spatial audio. So yeah, for $200 you get a good selection of features. Sadly, most of these features are only for iOS devices, and it makes sense. After all, these buds feature Apple's proprietary H1 chip, so many of the features found on the standard AirPod line are transferred over here. But not all is doom and gloom for Android users. If you happen to have an Android device or a Google device, you can download the Beats app to monitor battery levels for each bud, toggle the listening modes and other settings, activate ANC and perform the earbud fit test, but aside from that, that's about it. As far as mic quality for phone calls, if you notice, Apple does a good job at hiding the mics so that they're not so intrusive to the overall design. It's like it all blends in together and it looks quite nice. And overall, call quality is pretty good. As decent as you'd expect from other offerings such as the regular AirPods or even AirPods Pro. 
According to Beats, five of the six mics are activated during calls, along with the voice accelerometer to minimize background noise for loud and clear calls. All of this is thanks to the power of the H1 chip found inside the buds. And finally, we get to sound quality, which is always the most controversial and the toughest part of every earbud review. Because I really wish I could just pass these over to you through your phone screen or computer monitor, so I'll do the best that I can. I will say, I love how punchy the bass is, and it's arguably way better than on the AirPods Pro. This is iconic of Beats, as when Beats were initially rolled out over a decade ago, they were unanimously praised on how much deeper the bass was on them versus the competition. I think this is due in part thanks to the new proprietary 9.5mm transducer that balances frequencies well, while also pumping out deep and rich bass, and also having mids and even vocals at the forefront of every song. Turning off ANC to me results in less than adequate volume levels. See, thing about me is that I like my music loud, almost always being above 90% for me while at the gym. ANC does aid in drowning out the background noise, as I mentioned, and so it's like an audio optical illusion that feels like it increased volume slightly, all while preserving everything you expect from earbuds, including that punchy and pronounced bass. Great audio quality is extremely important so that your workouts become much more energized with all of your favorite tracks. And I will say that I think sound quality is superior to both the AirPods 3 and even the AirPods Pro. Everything sounds really concise and clear, especially when listening to podcasts. Your favorite podcaster's voice is going to be really pronounced and right there and in your face. Or ears, should I say. So what's my verdict? Well, if you're a gym rat or remotely doing any form of physical activity, these are a no-brainer. Being priced at $50 less than the AirPods Pro while having nice and bouncy color options and most of the nifty features the AirPods Pro provide? Now come on, this is an easy recommend for those people. Especially with the design, you'll never have to worry about these falling out of your ears during workouts and best of all, are really comfortable for extended sessions. Sound is arguably better on these than any AirPods model, excluding AirPods Max, Highlighted by puncher bass you have come to expect from the Beats product line. Even casuals may benefit from these given the bolder color options. Just don't expect to get the full AirPods Pro experience, especially given the AirPods Pro 2nd gen are set to be delivered to customers doorsteps very soon with drastically improved ANC and transparency mode as well as other neat improvements such as find my compatibility for the case. So make sure to stay tuned and definitely subscribe so you can tune into my AirPods Pro 2nd gen review once they arrive in the studio. Video. Let me know what you guys think though. If you own a pair or have had experience with other Beats products, let me know down below. And with that being said, I'm clocking out for now, but I cannot wait to catch you all in my next video.